Hi everyone, this is Larry the Barberman and today we are going to discuss how to avoid ingrowing hairs and razor bumps by tailoring a shave to suit your particular skin. Now, the reason I'm making this video uh, not so long ago for a two month period, I was suffering from horrific uh, ingrowing hairs and razor bumps and no matter what I tried, I couldn't figure out what was actually causing these razor bumps. I was shaving and I was splashing strong alcohol to, to kill the germs, what I thought at the time, and a few other things I tried and they just didn't work. One turning point was at the end of the shave, I was using an astringent called Witch Hazel. This helped uh, to calm my face down and get rid of the bumps. And then after doing further research, I realized I identified five key reasons why I was continuously at risk of getting ingrowing hairs. Now, I, I, I exercise and practice these five things I'm going to discuss with you now. This is just an intro video. I will actually be doing uh, five detailed videos on the five key points that you would need to introduce and tailor to your particular shaving routine. Because as a black person, we have coarse and curly hair. So having coarse and curly hair increases the risk of me getting ingrowing hairs. If you are a non-black person and you're watching this video, this will be a very, I don't know, precautious uh, shave, which would also be good for yourselves. Black people, I think, have the most sensitive skin. So with that said, uh, let's, let me start by identifying the five key things that you need to tailor as a black person or a person with sensitive skin to avoid and stop getting ingrowing hairs. The first thing I identified was as a black person, I should not be using a multi-bladed razor. And the reason I say I shouldn't be using a multi-bladed razor, uh, it's shown that pulling this along your skin would literally cut all the hair in one pass and every single blade is cutting but you know you can see they're so closely packed together these would clog up for one and not every single blade cuts one or two of the blades will actually pull the hair and yes it does cut it and yes it is a clean cut but the problem with this on my kind of skin with my kind of hair is this being the hair my fingers being the skin, it will cut it below the hairline. Now, when that hair cuts below the hairline as a black person, I am highly at risk of this forming into a razor bump, owing to the fact that my hair is probably going to curl underneath the skin. It's going to, this is where the infections come around and you get the bump because it might not be able to find its way to the surface of the skin. So, like I said, I no longer use these blades. I now use single edge blades. The beauty of the single edge blade, when you shave with the single edge blade, it cuts the hair parallel to the skin, not below the line, parallel. And also with these, you can get the highest quality blade. So there's no need to be packing it out with the five different blades. There's no need for that. This does everything that it should and more than the multi-blade. So with the single blade, just to reiterate, it brings the skin, it can cut the skin, the hair parallel with the skin line. With the multi-blade, it falls below the skin line and that puts you at risk when you have curly, curly coarse hair as a black person. The second thing I identified that can cause uh, ingrown hairs and razor bumps for a black person is the direction in which you shave. Now there's three different directions that you can shave and I'm going to explain them to you. The first I will discuss with you is shaving with the grain. What shaving with the grain means, assuming my hair is growing down, I would shave down. So I'm shaving from the root to the tip this is called shaving with the grain. The opposite to shaving 
uh, with the grain is shaving against the grain. So again, assuming my hair is growing downwards and I shave up, this is called shaving against the grain. Shaving against the grain causes irritation. And in shaving, any form of irritation or discomfort puts you at risk of your skin blowing up with razor rash, razor bumps or ingrown hairs. So when you're shaving with sensitive skin, it is always best to shave in the direction of the grain. Now, one of the things where people make mistakes, again, using adverts as reference, uh, I use uh, the multi-blade company adverts on the TV as a reference on how to shave. That does not suit my skin. Not only that, using the alcohol-based gel or mousse is not right for my skin. So what I will be doing in a subsequent video, I'll be teaching you how to map the direction of your hair. So basically when you shave, you will be doing a shave pattern that's relevant for your face. Again, minimizing or literally getting rid of any irritation whatsoever because you're shaving all the time with the grain. Because remember, the, the hair direction on your face is very different from the direction of, of anybody else. So you need to map this out. I've created a unique face map where you can map this out yourself to ensure that there is zero irritation from the direction in which you shave. One last direction I failed to mention, which is in between shaving with the grain and against the grain, is across the grain. So literally you get the hair, you, you shave it laterally. That's in between uh, shaving against the grain and with the grain. It's, you know, it's a middle, middle point, it's a grey area, but it's much better than going against the grain. Not as good as going with the grain. So direction, very, very, very important. If it's wrong, you're going to cause irritation. Irritation causes bumps. Third, not exfoliating. This was something I did, but it's key uh, element to creating non-shaving bumps or ingrowing hairs. So exfoliating, you need to exfoliate at least twice a week. By not exfoliating, again, you're putting yourself at risk of infecting your uh, pore or your hair follicle. And the reason you have to exfoliate is to take the dead skin away from your face because the hair will not be able to come to the surface to be shaved. And if a hair doesn't come to the surface and it ingrows, then it's gonna flow, blow up and flame up so you need to exfoliate at least twice a week so the pores are not blocked with dead skin not only if, um, is it blocking up the pores when you do actually come to shave when you come to shave you'll be shaving the, the dead skin instead of the hair so that will again reduce the closeness at which you can shave and that could cause you to try and multi-pass over the same area Whereas if the skin was perfectly exfoliated with no dead skin, you can get closer and lower. So exfoliating, another key, key point that cannot be forgotten or in your shave routine. Next, number four, not preparing the skin properly. All my life, the mistake I had been making during my shaving life is I would again following multi-blade company adverts on the TV, go into the bathroom, wet my face, put an alcohol-based gel or cream on my face, which now I know was actually killing my skin as well. And then I would commence with my shave with a multi-bladed razor. Knowing what I know now, my face was nowhere near ready to meet a razor blade. First, you need to open up your pores. So what I should have been doing is going into the shower first for a good three minutes, wetting my face, getting the moisture into my beard and into my skin to ultimately open up the pores. Opening up the pores will expose the hair that I want to cut. After the 
three minutes in the shower where my skin would have been in this state. I then would have needed to massage my beard with uh, a shaving oil. Again, what I was then be doing is creating a barrier between the blade and my skin. Because like I said, any form of irritation will cause a rash, razor bump or ingrowing here. So basically I want that blade to just smooth, gl uh, glide smoothly over my skin, cutting the hair with minimal irritation. That's what the shaving oil can do. You can go one step further after massaging the shaving oil and creating the barrier. You can put a cream based shaving cream on top of the oil and the benefit of using uh, the cream as well, again, is helping to stand up the hairs, put them in the optimum position. So again, with the skin, the pores opened, putting the oil on the skin and the shaving thing, it will glide across so seamlessly, again, avoiding the risk of causing irritation. So proper preparation, if you can't go into the shower before you shave, please ensure that you get a hot towel and you cover your bearded area for a good one or two minutes, if possible, to open up the pores and prep the skin. And also opening the pores with a hot towel or going into the shower, it relaxes the face muscle and relaxes the skin. Again, put your, putting your skin in the correct state to be shaved. Please, 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 I urge you, do not miss this thing. If you can't prepare your skin properly, I would strongly advise that you do not shave. Yeah, it's really important that you put time into this thing or it's gonna cause you razor bumps unnecessarily. I'll say that because, like I said, just following these five things that I'm going to tell you will significantly reduce the risk of you getting razor bumps. Lastly, when you've opened up these pores and you've done your shave and you've cleaned down the pores whilst they're open, it's very, very, very important that you close these pores down because they're wide open uh, to germs and pollution and everything getting in those pores, so you need to close them down. How I close them down, and I'll show you my routine, like I said, for each of these five steps, I'll show you how I do it. I use an astringent called Witch Hazel. I have it in the fridge. When I finish my shave, washed off all the, the, the cream and oil and all the rest of it, I will spray my face with cold astringent. So I know that I'm closing down and locking down those pores as well. Also, uh, Witch Hazel has a cooling agent in it. It's also antiseptic as well. So you know that your face is really good at the end and you've shut down. So before, what was I doing? Like I said to you, I was shaving before I went into the shower. I would then go into the shower, open the pores up. Then I could jump out the shower and go out into the street and I'm literally wide open to all these things um, getting into my pores and ultimately causing breakout. So those are the five key things. So on my next video, I have uh, developed some maps. Let's say it's a map of your face. And what you'll be doing is literally mapping out the direction that your hair is going in all different sections of your face. So when you come to shave now, you will always be shaving with the grain because even though your face will be covered with uh, shaving cream, you'll know which way you got to shave. So there'll be little or no irritation. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, this video will be ready in three days from today, depending on when you're actually watching this video. So look out for my shaving map video to ensure that you get little or no irritation when shaving. Larry the Barber Man signing off.